Well, if this ever happens to you, rush to your SP3. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, at the time of this war, I was very sick. If you've been watching my videos on the regular, you know it was not good. It got ugly. Uh, but we had, I think we were number, I think it was number three and number two. We're going up against Nefty, a phenomenal war alliance uh, versus us. Yeah, also a phenomenal war alliance. So you knew this was going to be tight. And I know I've put in the title of the thumbnail of something somewhere. I'm going to end up costing us the top three. Uh, but uh, I, you know, this, I did not look forward to making this one. But after a good night's sleep and all that stuff, uh, here we are. So I'm ready to get this out. We'll do our best to talk through the fights. And then I'm going to show you what happened. Uh... So here we go, here we go, here we go. So uh, we've got our Ascended Absorbing Man, Ascended Masakure. We've been doing so much Masakure this season. It's amazing. I love it. It's so much fun getting to talk about him. He's such a phenomenal, phenomenal champion. Often not talked about enough. Now, this is a Hazard Shift Incinerate Poison. And as we know with war and sometimes in Battlegrounds, there's these tactics, right? And because Mojo um, was a tactic defender, I believe. And then also I have the attacker tactic here. What I want to do is get up these withers. You can see I can get them up. And then now that I have debuffs on him, I can knock him down and get a slow. But also what that's gonna mean is I'm not gonna take damage from damage over time effects. We've shown this in some other fights, some other wars. I'm gonna show it in the next one. We've already finished that war, so I know how that's going to go. And the whole plan here, uh, for me anyways, is I need to keep up my slow because if I if it falls off and I have a buff fall off like the precision from decks, they have a, uh, I think it's like a 30% chance, so it's a decent sized chance to go unstoppable. And that's where these fights can really go sideways. And that's exactly what's happening right here. Uh, I got most of the deck uh, the decks down. I was pretty happy about that. And you can see he goes unstoppable. My debuffs had fallen off. My slow had fallen off. This was like the one thing I did not want to have happen. Now, I had the plan of I'm just going to hit into his block if I can, but I can't get this guy to block to save my life. And I don't even have space to do that light whiff. Finally get it right there. I'm going to, oh, I should have thrown that into his block. See, I, I knew I wasn't playing well, and you're going to really see it in the following fights too. I was, I was just, I was very, very sick. There's not much you can do. You can't like just not play the game. Uh, so that's how it is. But I felt fine with all of these fights, uh, and I was so excited. We had a Hulk boss uh, on the list. We'll talk about that when we get there. So, all right, here we go. So right now, I'm like, I'm not happy with how this has gone, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this done here. Um, you know, I'm just gonna block that. I'm not even gonna try to dex it. I know the dex, but I'm not even gonna try. And I kind of embraced that, like, I'm not playing well, or, or at least I know I'm not playing the way I know I can play. Uh, and so I'm just gonna go like kind of like low battery mode basically like an iPhone that's what's near near dying You're like yeah shut down the functions that we don't need and that's just what I'm gonna do this war And I really accepted it there and you're gonna see it in a couple more fights here So we're moving on now this really great synergy with absorbing man here is immortal abomination Immortal abomination is very good himself, too So it's a great travel partner, but what it does is it gives Absorbing Man more time on his forms, which is great, as you know, when you're trying to refresh them, but even bigger for these purposes, it makes him in, uh, poison immune in any of his forms. Really awesome. And, and even without a form, he's just poison immune. Uh, so we're going to pick the immunity that's going to give us the incinerate immunity there, too. I personally like magma better, and just in general. It feels like more flashy, more damage, and, you know, I like big numbers. Uh, so here we go. And basically, Carl just destroys uh, Terax. Uh, Kushala might be giving a run for his money as far as the best destroyer of Terax, but that's another video, right? Uh, so here we go. I went for the light intercept, and I got clipped. Uh, Terax didn't I didn't even, on the playback, he didn't even really do that whole, like, light stutter step thing. I, I just not playing well. But I'm like, we're fine. I know how to handle this. We'll get to our SB2. Uh, I think I heavied beforehand. That's part of why it was so big, right? And you get, I think it's a huge critical damage multiplier off the heavy, I believe it is. And you can throw that into your special. So that's why you see so many times people trying to throw their heavy into the special. You get even more um, damage if it's if they're not stunned. But if it's off the striker or, um, or off a of stun, if it's off a striker, it's like they're not stunned, I believe. And if it's off a stun, you still get some uh, uh, bonus damage there, too. Man, it's like I'm sick right now. <laughs> All right. So my boy TJ cleared the fight beforehand, and I'm going to go in and take this Wolverine Weapon X. I've never done this fight before. Uh, I really got familiar fighting Weapon X forever ago with um, Archangel. Or I was like, I mean, Ludum Taters was leading the BG and four Loki. Like, that's how long ago this was. As you know, Archangel can turn a lot of things off. I even took like, war bosses here. And one of the things I always capitalized on was the aggressive nature of 
uh, weapon X when they go into rage. Well, here we go. So we're setting up the shock bleed here. I'm gonna be in Uru form, which is gonna be really helpful, not only for the node itself, but let's say I make a mistake. Let's just say it happens, right? As I mean, as you can tell with the way this video is going, I, I mean, the only thing I can kind of teach is kind of teach you a little, talk a little bit about the interactions, but also like sometimes you just don't play well and, and you do your best. So uh, here we go. And so I can't, I can't stun him, at least I shouldn't, right? Uh, and that's fine, that's fine. So the whole idea is just to get him into his rage stacks here, right? I'm kind of watching the uh, green now. Now I know if he throws a special, he's gonna go unblockable and all that good stuff. And then it, in the moment, it felt like the, this heavy and the special came out of nowhere. That was a mistake. I should not have done that. There was no good reason to do that because it was going to push him into his rage, going to make him unblockable, make him unstoppable. But I'm like, I'm still fine. I'm still okay. Now watch this. He, it's right here. I, I, I still like on the immediate playback feel like it was a fine dash in, but clearly it wasn't. And I'm like, okay, dude, what is wrong with you? Now, here's the bigger issue. And this is something we can learn from. And I'm glad I even thought of it is I need to be an Uru, not only for the potential bleeds of Wolverine, it's a big deal, and as you can see, I'm, I'm getting hit, but even more importantly, for the node itself. Well, if this ever happens to you, rush to your SP3, and you're gonna see what happens. So right now, I am just in a rush to get to my SP3. I still have a decent amount of time on my Uru. I need to get to my special three and throw that, and you'll see why. Here we go, so let's hit play again. I also need to survive. I need to survive. I've lost my indestructible. Yeah, I'm in Uru, but whatever. And I can't just go hitting into his block. So fortunately, he throws what was that a special or a heavy? I don't even remember anymore. When you get to my special three, this is going to give me some nice big damage amplification, right? Amplification? Amplification. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> you let me know. Was that the right word? Did I just make up a word? But you know what I'm saying. I'm amplifying my damage. And then also, it totally refines the form, which means I'm now back into Uru. And uh, I've got all that time. You can see it's just kind of sitting there. The node's helping like pause it and that sort of thing. So I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I don't need to worry about it and go in and just finish off Wolverine Weapon X, thankfully. Okay. And at that point, I, and I remember even telling my BG, like, I'm not feeling well. I'm not playing well. It felt like he was heavy and especially me out of nowhere, totally catching me by surprise. I'm going to take a break. And so much later in the day, much later in the day, uh, the boss came open and I knew I was taking the boss and I felt extremely confident about the boss. I was so excited to get it and make it into a video for this. Uh, so we've got a stun immune Nova with uh, hazard shift again because of Carl and all of these immunities are now available to us, especially with that uh, synergy from Immortal Abomination. I'm just gonna play this fight. I'm not. Even, I'm like so not concerned about this fight at all. Uh, I've already taken down Nova in Necropolis. I'm very comfortable with both the evades, special one, special two. There is nothing concerning me about this at all. I'm actually even feeling a little bit better. I've taken a lot of like various cold and flu remedies, so I'm even feeling pretty good here. Uh, you know, because of the node itself, we're getting our forms paused. I'm landing intercepts. I'm keeping an eye on his. Uh, was it like the Nova counter or whatever? Like, well, I can't even think what it's called uh, right now, but we're doing pretty good. We're doing a okay. Yeah, everything's going great, right? And then it's like, I forget that I can't stun him or something. I don't know, but clearly I messed something up. Then I just throw that out of nowhere. No clue, none, no idea what made me decide to do that. He's unblockable. For some reason, I don't get out of the way. Fortunately, <laughs> I'm not dead. Uh, and with some buffs and Mystic Dispersion, we've now pushed our SP2, but he's gaining power, right? This whole time he's gaining power. He's just going back and forth. I'm like, Nova, please stop going back and forth. Please stop it. And I'm like, I don't think he hits hard enough for this to kill me. I'm pretty positive. I'm boosted huge. And I'm like, okay, we're fine. Just relax. Remember what I was just talking about, about the special three and how sparks fly, right? Amplify the damage, refine the form, you're good to go. I'd love to say this was the big brain plan the whole time. It was not. Um, and But I, you know, once we got available, I'm gonna throw it. So here we are, and then I uh, should do some massive damage. I don't even try to do anything fancy there. I obviously could have heavied uh, and then into the striker, but you see how much damage we have going. Fight's over, Carl's amazing. Uh, I'd like to take some credit, maybe more for the Wolverine on some quick thinking, but it was me that put myself in the hole to begin with, so uh, maybe I shouldn't fly my flag quite too high. Now, this one hurts. 
this hurts. Because up until now, I've been able to figure it out, right? There's been some close calls, but ultimately I'm like, I can figure it out. I don't feel like I got overly lucky. I'm fine. When I saw this map, I was, I didn't DM uh, my battle group leaders, but I did think, I want this fight. I, I, oh my God, I want this fight. In the previous two war videos, you've seen me take Hulk on Polka.Power, which is, this, in my opinion, a significantly harder fight because I've got to ignite my bat. I've got to then apply some incinerates. And it's the only way I'm going to gain power. And then I've got to kind of keep that going while simultaneously making sure I land enough heavies or knock Hulk down to keep the slow because he could go unstoppable from the tactic because he's a tactic defender or he could do it on his own from his own rage stacks significantly harder fight he has about four hundred thousand more health here but i don't have all those additional layers so i'm going into this fight i always run do not disturb there's and you know what i i cut it out i edited it out because some personal information did show as i was going from that pre-fight screen to this the fight stops, my recording stops, my phone stops, like the game stops. And I get a message from Apple on my phone saying, recording stopped, call in progress. There is only one person, there's only one person who can break through my do not disturb. And if that person calls, it is very important to me. It's one of my children, okay? And it's very important to me that I am available to them because especially at that time of the day, the only reason they would call me is if something, if they need me, because I know, I know what they're doing. They're, they are at something, they're at an activity they enjoy, they love, that is not like just grab a phone and call your parents. And uh, I went, you know, the game pauses on its own, but I'm also, I'll, I'll admit, I wasn't frantic, but I was concerned. I was worried because there's only one person who can break through do not disturb. And so I start checking their phone and I can't find evidence of them calling, but I, I do finally see that I have a notification on the phone and it's like, it's not a number that I recognize, but I also can't fathom, I cannot understand why or how it broke through do not disturb. And you're gonna see it in the fight. I, I play this fight like I'd never really played the game before. I mean, I guess right there, I got an intercept or something. And I remember to knock him down, but I was just trying to get through this fight as frantically as I can. And, I, and I, I'm comfortable with it. Like, it, it's a little painful to watch it back because I was so excited about this. I think, you know, you've seen me dex that a million times in the last two war videos. Uh, you can see there it is. That's, I had to restart the recording and, and I'll just say like too, at the front of my mind this whole time was, should I even be doing this fight? Like, should should I just pause the, the game and like call my child? And, and if I time out because of it, or if I never even get back to the fight, like, so be it. Uh, I'm letting the slow fall off. Like this is like the whole, the whole idea. And, and if you're interested in how to do this fight, you can watch either the last two videos. Uh, I took this fight on polka dot power and um this is just really tough this is this is really weird to watch back to this is the first time i've really fully watched it back uh like right there i can't believe i don't even have a slow up on him because the whole the whole idea the whole time was just to con constantly bait heavies uh and here's the interesting thing i don't even have an incinerate on him because my bat's not ignited <laughs> uh and yet we've still have done what 44 percent of the damage here the soccer hits hard we've shown that in the other videos too the incinerate does tremendous work but it's like basic hits are much harder than i uh you would think um and i was gonna go in here this disorient will uh affect the ability accuracy right so it could even prevent him from um going unstoppable with his gamma rage or what have you when he hits 15. Uh, you know, I had the fight actually back under control. I remember that. And then I threw the SP one late and then I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then he goes into his gamma rage uh, cause I don't have the slow up. But if I had landed that SP one, we knock him down and we get the slow. It, it just was, um, like I said, it's really rough to watch it back because that's a fight. I would bet on me to solo at 99 out of a hundred times. Um, and I, I want to, I will get to the season stats, but I want to shout out something is we lost this war by one. <laughs> we lost this war by one. Fortunately, 
you know, for me, I guess, making me feel a little bit better, it appears as though we would have lost on time anyway. But I, we were also significant. I have a feeling it's due to time zone. We were significantly ahead of them as far as kills were concerned. And every single death, when you only die four times in a whole war, if you make that three, I know how much pressure that gets on 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 the opponent. And they did have three deaths. But uh, I, you know, I've been wearing the shirt. Shout out to my boys at SSX. I explained them what happened. I showed them the videos. And like I said, I edited out some of the personal information uh, that will, you know you could see in the videos. Um, and um, a couple people, a few people, and, and it was backed up privately too, were like, it's your kid. Like, don't, I would, I do the same. I have the same. We have other parents in the Alliance. Um, or they're like, my my mom and my dad are the two that can get through Do Not Disturb 2. So SSX, we take this game very seriously. We want to win. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into it. But um, I, I like the priorities. I like the priority system of, of the Alliance. It fits. It still sucks. I didn't enjoy this. Uh, but I wanted to share it with everyone. Hopefully we learned some things about different champions and things like that. And, uh, and I wanted to show it to everybody. So let's go ahead and take a look at the season stats. Okay, with that loss, it's going to bring us down to 6-3, and three, which will put us at 6th in Masters as we head into our next war. Uh, myself, 40 kills. I, you know, I realize there's extenuating circumstances, but it is still a death. And I had a chance to to get it sorted. I just, my brain was elsewhere. My mind was elsewhere. So I count it as a death. I'm going to, you know, it was a death that's up there. Uh, nine total champions. Excited about using the breath of my roster. One boss kill with Kushal there. Current streak is all the way back to zero. I think we were in like the mid 40s just a few wars ago, but it is what it is. Uh, America Chavez is losing her lead, and I happen to know already, like I said, how the next war is going to go. And that lead is going to shrink, and we're going to continue to see more Absorbing Man and Massacre. So hopefully you come along, watch those. I think it's a uh, much better gameplay from me on that one. So I hope to see you there. I hope your war season is going phenomenally. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.